Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and of course we will talk about a little something that is the um, Windows 10 May 2019 update. As we are going through the month of May slowly, today is Monday, May 6th. Of course there is something that is going to happen this month and it's the release of this version of Windows 10 um, as an optional update so you don't have you know you won't have to actually be forced to have it you uh, can you know uh, wait and see but um, of course there's always these questions that come through and uh, I've been doing a few questions and answer sessions so um, once again a lot of people saying hey I, I can I get you know the uh, ISO of this uh, Windows 10 May 19 2019 update now uh, there's no official ISO release. Yeah, I'm sure if you're good with the internet, there are probably some places where it exists. But I always keep, um, you know, I always want to talk about the official places where you get these ISOs and not places where um, it's maybe not where you should get them. Because you never know. And getting an image of a Windows dis uh, distribution or Windows OS uh, image from a you know unknown source is always a kind of a dangerous thing so that's why I'm not uh, sharing anything um, the, the official release of the image or the ISO will be when there's one if you're you know on TechNet TechNet um, does have an official one so um, de developers and, and you know uh, anybody that's um, in the business can if they have an account on TechNet get already an image of uh, the May 2019 update but apart from that it will be released the day that it's out uh, officially for everybody and that date is still not announced so we can't really say anything as to when this will be because it should be this month but uh, some uh, speculation will be late in the month but when that happens you will have uh, the um, image on the same day with the media creation tool um, a lot of people asking me, you know, are the bugs fixed? Are the bugs for the drives fixed and the, um, you know, uh, SD card and the uh, blue screen uh, for, um, you know, the cheats for the games? Um, okay, the cheat problem, okay, the anti-cheat software that created a, a bug check or a blue screen of that in Windows 10 is due to the, the software itself and not Windows. So that means that the fix comes into your games, not into Windows. That means update your games. Go check out if there's an update to the game um, that will have an updated anti-cheat software with it. And that will fix the problem. So if you have still had some problems and you're on the May 2019 update right now, uh, yeah, this is the uh, this this should be fixed by the company or the manufacturer of that game creator of the game uh, as for the SD card reader and the uh, external USB drive problems uh, what I did see is that internally it is fixed that means it's not fixed in the update itself that we have right now so if you go into the um, release preview ring for example and get the May 2019 update you still don't have that fix it doesn't exist but a cumulative update that will be um, released on the same day that the May 2019 update will be released is going to have that bundle together so that means you will have a fix that will actually be okay and apparently that fix is already uh, done internally at Microsoft so all of that is pretty much okay um, questions once again any other bugs any other things well you know minor things here and there that we see because there's always a little something here and there in the tests and there's very unique uh, combinations of um, you know hardware on PCs that sometimes will create problems uh, that are unique to a specific machine or a specific set of you know machines uh, and that's always I mean it's whatever version of Windows you have there's always some people that have a little glitch of something that's weird and that is related to software or hardware um, nothing major we can't you know apart from the drive problems there's really nothing major it seems to be a very very nice um, OS as of now uh, of course I see a lot of people you know posting to you all you know this is crap I've got a lot of problems with it but you know what you guys are in a very very small chunk of people having problems 
And if you honestly look at a lot of people that actually did the update, most of them will tell you, no, it's working great, we've got no problems. And uh, you got to remember that there was always a minority that will have problems. And as I always say, remember one thing. Uh, it's easy to get fooled by, oh, well, that looks like a bad OS, because who voices their frustrations? Of course, people that have problems voice their minds. People that have a good and great working experience with Windows 10, they don't, we don't hear about them. So it's easy to fall into the, well, you know, have you seen the number of problems in that what Windows has? Um, that's because, you know, we're almost at a billion Windows 10 users. We're not that far away. If 0.5% of a billion have a problem, it's a hell of a lot of million people that have problems. So it looks big, and of course they are the ones voicing their minds. But in reality, you know, 0.5% is a very small chunk. But it just accounts for so many people because of the sheer numbers of how many people are using Windows. So that's what we have right now. Of course, uh, when it's announced, which we officially know a date, we'll let you know. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.